<laughs> I'm Leon Todd for G66, and on today's Tuesday Tone Tip, I want to talk about how you can take your favorite amp model in your Axe FX3 or FM3 and turn it into a multi-channel monster by using scene controllers. At the moment, I have one of my all-time favorite amp sounds, the Atomica High model. It is at stock settings, except for the depth control. I've turned that down. I've paired it up with one of my custom IRs, which is available for free on Fractal's Exchange website called LT TV Mix 2. Uh, the cab block is at the stock settings and I have fired it up with the London plate reverb. I've just turned the time and the mix down a little bit. At the moment, it sounds like this. <laughs> So for me, that's pretty much my ideal rock rhythm tone. But if I'm doing a rock gig, I want this as my main rhythm tone. I wouldn't mind a variation of this which has less gain and a variation which has a whole lot more gain. So one way I could do that is using the channels feature of the amp block. I could copy these amp settings to channel B, C and D if I like and tweak the input drive accordingly. However, there are some limitations around that, namely there's four channels. What if I wanted eight different scenes all with the gain changing? And furthermore, there is an inevitable switching gap when we change channels on the FM3 or the Axe FX3. So one way around that is to use a scene controller. And I think of a scene controller as like the world's best little roadie. It is going to change any parameter that I can modify to any value that I like accurately every time at the switch of a scene. So let's just set up a simple three channel variation of this rhythm sound that I've got at the moment. I wouldn't mind a little less and a little more on scene one and three respectively. So what we're gonna do is we'll start, we'll go to scenes and I'm gonna copy this particular scene across the board to my eight scenes because it's gonna be the basic sound that I build everything else around. Then we are going to right click the input drive in Axe Edit and select scene controller number one. You'll notice this defaults to zero. We have to go to the controllers menu and go to the scene controllers section. And what we can do now is each of these controller values here are going to correspond to the value of the input drive in each scene. So in scene one, let's say I want my input drive at around say 30%, so a little less than where I had it. On scene two, I'll put it straight down the middle around 50%, and on scene three, I'll turn it way up uh, to about 80%. So as you can see now, I'm on scene one, and I have a little less gain. This is what it sounds like. <laughs> So that is great for some lower gain classic rock stuff. If I now switch to scene two, I have the same amp on the same channel, but the input drive has been turned up by my little roadie, the scene controller. Sounds like this. That's awesome, right? Let's go to scene three. This is now with the input drive crank. That's fantastic. I love that. So now I've got my, uh, I wouldn't say a clean sound, but my low gain sound, my main rhythm sound, and then my lead sound on scene three. Why stop at the amp block though? We have four scene controllers. We could do a similar thing with the delay block. Let's say I want different delay mixes on each of these scenes. So let's say on scene one, I actually wouldn't mind just a little bit of delay, uh, say around 5% mix, just as kind of like an ambient wash. So what we'll do is let's set the mix control and I will set the source there as scene controller number two. And let's go to our controller section. Uh, we're now operating on scene controller two. Let's just add, like I said, 5% there for scene one. I'll have it totally off on scene two, but on scene three, let's say, you know, I want quite a bit of delay. Let's go to 35%. So what I'm gonna do now is on my delay block, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna to go to scenes. Uh, am I gonna to go to scenes? No, I can do this. This is a much better way to do this. Let's go to block. Let's go to all scenes, engage. That's what I wanna do. Uh, that way my delay block is now turned on across all the scenes, but 
Remember, the mix is being controlled by those scene controller values. So on scene one, I have less gain on my amp and I have a just slight ambient delay happening. <laughs> Just a little bit of sweet sauce on there. If I go to my main rhythm sound, the delay block's still on, but there's no mix, so it's not active. This is a dry rhythm sound. <laughs> Then when I go to scene three, my delay is nice and juicy. There's 35% mix. It sounds like this. And I've got way more gain on the amp. Glorious stuff. So not only have we used Scene Controller 1 to gain stage our main amp sound, we've also used it to control the delay. I could do a similar thing uh, by controlling, say, the state of... Oh, I'm a big Univibe fan, a uh, big Robin Trower and Hendrix fan, of course. So let's add a phaser block. And I'm going to use the FAS Vibe. This is my favorite Univibe style sound in there. And I wouldn't mind, say, on Scene 1, having the uni vibe on there with like a kind of slow rate. So let's use scene controller number three this time. And let's go into the controllers menu. I'm gonna set scene controller three, say to uh, somewhere around here. Uh, scene two, I'll leave the uni vibe just totally off. So I don't need to worry about setting that anywhere. It's gonna be bypassed. And then let's say on scene three, when I do want the uni vibe, I want a slightly faster rate. So I'll set it up around 60%. So let's do this now. In scene one, I've got my vibe on. That's tasty. On scene two, I'm gonna bypass this phaser block. I'm gonna save that and then on scene three, uh, I don't necessarily want this phaser on by default, so I'll save it with it off. But when I do engage it using a foot switch, uh, I want a slightly faster rate than before. Again, that kind of Robin Trower bridge of size thing, but with way more gain and delay. <laughs> And that is just one example of how you can use scene controllers. Any little parameter that has one of these yellow circles lets you attach a modifier to it and potentially a scene controller. So you can go totally nuts with this and be really, really creative. But for now, let's hear this little preset that I cooked up in a quick mix and with a track. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any requests for future content, please do not hesitate to reach out I'm Leon Todd. This was today's Tuesday Tone Tip for G66. See you next time.